Hey guys, thanks for checking out this clip of Anatomy of the Church and State. Be sure to catch the full episode on Rumble or ChristiansForLiberty.com. Links are in the show description. Yeah, let me let me throw let me throw a tough one at you here. Um, because my my political philosophy, um, so if <clears throat> If if someone taking something from you under threat of violence is theft and taxation is theft, is God saying that I have to be OK with theft or is this one of those things um, like you were saying, you know, it maybe it's not Caesar's, you know, and it's it's got Caesar doesn't so get to determine have, what it uh, is, right? Is that one, got kind of one of those situations here. or am I am I to, to pay taxes regardless of what they go to or is it? Does this fall kind of what you were saying? Yeah. So I think we have to start with um, we, we can't say as a blanket statement that taxes are theft um, because that word render means to pay back what is owed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not just the word forgive. It's the word for, for payback. Right. So we, we start there. Taxes. Um, there There's legitimate reasons that the government can 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 um biblically speaking we're not even getting into our american system biblically sure. speaking there's legitimate reasons um now if we go back to jesus's day did caesar use that that authority that he had um, to collect taxes did he then take the money and misuse it yes obviously okay did that exempt the christian from paying Unfortunately, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You know, and, and just in modern terms, I'm thinking like, you know, do um, it's unfortunate that we never really own property, right? Because I'm always if I don't pay property taxes under threat right. of violence, they're going to come and throw me in prison. That's right. It just right. So is that that that's, <laughs> that that technically wouldn't be them using their taxes for the right purposes? Then correct? Yeah, that'd be a good question. So you're getting into the question of. Um, does the Bible um, give anything about um, how taxes can be collected? What is a penalty for inability to collect taxes? Um, I, I think uh, if you if you go back to Deuteronomy, there's some interesting um, legislation. So, for example, um, a you're not allowed to take a millstone in pledge. So you're a creditor and you want to loan somebody money. Uh, you're not allowed to take a millstone. And the reason, the logic of that is that that's their means of bread. So even in a circumstance in which, um, you know, you've defaulted on a loan, uh, the, the, the creditor is not allowed to enter into your home. So they can't come and forcibly take things. And the, you can't even take as a pledge, as a creditor, um, their means of, of sustaining life. So we get back into those human rights. Not only, not only do I have the right to life, that comes with the rights of life. It would be absurd <laughs> to argue that you have a right to your life, but you don't have rights to the means of sustaining that life. And when you look at the, the legislation in Deuteronomy, it becomes clear that, oh, yeah, you don't get to take away somebody's means of life, shutting down people's businesses, telling them their businesses are non essential. The government's right. never given that, that authority. So then you get into the question of, well, can they levy taxes on your personal property such that if you cannot pay it, they will seize them from you and you lose your home and your livelihood. You would not be able to argue that case positively from scripture and say, yes, they can. And I think you could argue from scripture that when you take those laws given for Israel and the way that protections were to be set in place, you take those timeless principles of those laws. We're not under the Mosaic covenant. We're different people, different time. But you take the timeless principles of those laws and you say, no, you can't can't do that to people today either. Gotcha. I don't know if that's a long answer with the help. Yeah, story. no, that's good. I and mean, the reason I brought it up is just because taxes are mentioned so much in Romans 13. Uh, so I kind of wanted to to tie that in a little bit because there's I, I do believe that the the government misuses uh the tax Literally. dollars, and I don't think that they have a right to. Um so kind of wrapping yeah. it up on Romans go ahead. Yeah, they, they don't have the right to misuse yeah. those taxes. They have to use them. The only authority they have is what God has delegated to them. And that's, you know, we live in this, you know, just give me two minutes. <laughs> um, you know, we, we live in this status world in which um, you and I wake up and we, we realize, okay, 
the government says you can't build a fence if you don't have a permit. Uh, you can't build a house if you don't have a permit. You can't sell, you can't have a lemonade stand if you don't have a permit. That's statism. That's the view that the government is the ultimate sphere and all other spheres are defined by and ruled by the state. That's not a biblical view. The state is a sphere, but it works alongside the other spheres. Um, and it's it, the only time the government, other than taxation and punishment, the only time they have authority uh, is when you or I's rights are violated. So you and I, as we travel around geographical places and relational spheres, we carry our rights with us, our right to life, uh, our right to the means of life. There's some other rights, the right to a good name. Um, as you and I walk around and we carry those rights with us, if somebody violates those rights, that then triggers the government's authority to come in and investigate, has there been a civil rights violation? Now they have to investigate and adjudicate and potentially punish. But outside of that, they've been given no biblical rights. Um, they don't have the right to determine you need a permit for this, that, and everything else. And and so then, in, and to your point, they don't have the right to use my tax dollars to fund uh, abortion or transgender ideologies in another country. 